Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. You stuck to the right. That's how you get deceived being righteous. You can be righteous and still get deceived because you're overly righteous. Mm. Right. You got to mm. know what's going on on the other side of the yard in order to know if you can stand up straight. Right. Can't always lean one way. You're going to walk with a limp. Mm. Your hip going to protrude out the other side. Yeah, yeah. Let's get we all right. We officially gonna do two more call callers and then we getting out of here, family. I appreciate the time, the patience for tonight. Two more callers and then we getting out of here. Next call, more soul knowledge TV. What? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? <laughs> What's going on with you, brother? <laughs> Nothing, man. I just gotta say first and foremost before I get my question out. I know you a fellow Chicagoan. East side crazy, right? Oh, I'm south side, baby. I'm off the low end. Okay. I feel like you're from the east co- east side. All right. Um, my question is basically in regards to, I guess you could say, the Nephilim or the Anunnaki, what is your perspective in regards to individuals who have extra digits? I don't know if you can see extra fingers. Extra fingers mm-hmm. Six fingers. Yeah. That's an Anu trait. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. And whose children was the ones who had the six finger that come come through his line, the six finger. He has six fingers. Right. It skipped Inky and Enlil. Both of them got five fingers. That's why they were sent to Earth. The five fingers represents the five pointed star, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice off the right hand. Right. But they flipped it to the left hand. That's how you knew when they were standing out of position. Because they flipped the five up on the left, right? That's going to have to raise the truth up on the right. The love and the truth come up on the right as the truth makes seven. They're doing everything in reverse to confuse the, the science in our face behind our back. Mm. Right? So, and they flip the five off the left instead of flip the five off the right because there ain't no right in them. They all wrong. Mm-hmm. And if you if you are more and you go back, you remember for some reason there's some more that always flipped you to five off the left. They was telling you who they was. Right? Angel base spot them before they can raise their hand. He know them so good. He can smell them if they in the vicinity. He can he just know they there. Right? That's his that's his house. He some invaders in there, and his life in darkness has been to uncover who invaded his domain. He the lawman on the land. Sooner or later, they're going to have to speak up. So I'm just waiting to hear from the chiefs. Hmm. I, I appreciate your call, your um question, my brother. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. peace. All right, let's get to uh, this brother right here. Ant, Ant, what's, peace, what's going brothers, on? Peace, brothers. What's right. going on? Oh man, I'm chilling, man. Just want to ask one question. Uh, I had a dream, and in that dream, I was led to three beings. Like they was more so like deities. They was one was green, one was yellow, and one was dark gray. But they was all women. And uh, the last one that was dark gray, she put her hand on me, and her hand when she touched me, it, it, it was like a light that appeared. And like we was communicating telepath telepathically, but I I just wanted to know if you can elaborate on that. Tell me them colors again. Uh, blue, green, and dark gray. Mm-hmm. So blue is the uh, what's it? Oh yeah, Yimmy. I always get it mixed up. Right, that's the waters from the waters mm-hmm. in the sky. The green is the earth. Right. So we're mm-hmm. talking about three sisters, right? And the other one you said was a dark gray. That's how you will be able to translate to a seer that you're talking to the dark mother, which is Big Mama, mm. right? So if she would have been gold, then we would have been talking a whole different energy frequency. We would have been talking um, Oshun energy, um, the, the, the beloved daughter. Right. So we talk in the dark gray. Right. And the gray is the um, 
dream representation of stone. Mm. Right? Because it's the dark mother and she's talking about the stone. Now we she's telling you to build. Okay. She's she giving you a commission or a instruction on a path to follow. Right? And which shoulder did she touch you on? I want to say vaguely, probably my left one. Yeah, so she touched you on your left shoulder. She's telling you that you had to do something from your fatherland. So now it's coming Blue House, fatherland, Big Mama, which is probably Grandmama, Great Grandmama, commissioning you to do something for redemption for the fatherland, which is your generational curses that we've been breaking. Mm. Right? So you have to remember that you're the leader of a clan of powerful people. And okay. you got to remind your family of such and that y'all have to band together because it's the greater strength when y'all are united. Right? Yeah. So that's what I tell all the young chiefs. Start calling family members that you know your relative but you haven't talked to them just to have a conversation. You raise your status in the immediate family and the extended family by doing such. That's how you establish yourself to be presented to the public in order to get full chief status. Because you okay. first have to pr prove yourself to your family. They the ones who know you best. They're not going to send no asshole out to the public to represent the family. So are you going to be a good ambassador to the family? And the only way to know that is to family to know who you is. Indeed. Right. So just why you reach out to different members of your family that you I got a cousin that lives so and so and I ain't never had a conversation with him. Well let me call him up. Hey man, I know you my cousin. You ain't you ain't he such a such son? Yeah, I ain't never had a chance to talk to you, but I'm your uncle so and so son. And I just wanted to reach out to you because we family. Right. And just to have a conversation if it's only for two minutes. Indeed. You know? Hey, you just made a connection. Yes, uh, sir. I appreciate your question and your call, my brother. brothers. All right, all right, peace. All right, I was gonna end it, but I think this this is sister that she, we couldn't hear her earlier, so I'm gonna try to squeeze in. I was about to end it, but I think let's see if we can hear uh, Miko now. Miko, are, are you there, sis? Can y'all hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Gratitude, yeah. gratitude. End the show with your questions, sis. End the show with your Okay, questions. it was more or less of a comment because I'm from the west side of the shop, born and raised. Okay? okay. And I have smoked weed since I was 17. I recently stopped smoking. Once I stopped smoking weed these last couple of weeks, my dreams have been so vivid. Uh, I moved to the south, to the uh, to Bellwood, to the suburbs about a year ago and I have a tree out back. I've been recently putting my palms to the tree and just not even saying anything, just letting the tree feel me and feeling the tree. And I don't know, I feel like I'm elevating. I feel so elevated. And I also did want to know because I do have fire in all five of my placements. What does that mean? I'm an Aries, Sun, Leo, Moon, Leo rising. And I'm like Leo and Aries five times. All fire. And I just want to know what that means because I have a great passion about me. And like I said, I'm from the West Side. You just, you just answered it. I just Look, answered it. So just remember, the um, Leo rules the heart chakra. Yes. Right. And uh, Aries, I forgot which one Aries rules. But the heart chakra and fire alone is enough to give you a whole lot of passion. Listen, it's in me. It's in me so strong. But mm -hmm. I don't play. Like when, when they take me there, they take me there on play. But I love so hard. I love so yep. hard and people take advantage of it. That's and I the just passion. Feel, I just, I just, I, I have no one that's like on the level that I'm on in my close vicinity, like my family. They all Jesus out. You know, I have no one to, besides, uh, brother Rich and you and, and young elder like far as the internet so like what is your advice on what I should do to keep this fire burning because when it go down I'm it, ready for it right it, look the fire ain't going nowhere you, okay. your job is to learn how to control it 
and to use it with the wheel because you can have a, a flamethrower and burn down a whole community or you can cut a path through the forest. Okay. You know, so you had to learn how to control the passion and give it an outlet that's suitable to your nature. Sometimes I box with a punching mm -hmm. bag because I, I, it's like I have to get it out. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. it's a that, lot. Those, are, those are what you call stress management tools. Okay. Yeah, that's all allowed. I, I used to lift to calm me down. Okay. okay. Now I do mental heavy lifting to calm me down. Okay. Mm. Thank you for that. And gratitude. It, it, gratitude. It, it, gratitude. I, I, I appreciate the call, sis. I appreciate the call, sis. <laughs> Damn, Rod, I'm sorry. I see an elder, so I got to get the elder. I got, I keep one. I'll be like, I got, we, we got to do one more. I see yeah, the elder yeah. here. So let me, let me get to the elder. We got a conscious justice piece. It's, you, you, you oh, end the show for us with your question, Queen. End the Peace show and blessings. <laughs> Peace and blessings. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can yes, hear you. Loud and clear. Yeah, you're good. You're oh, good. power to both of you, brothers. Power to you. Thank you. Um, this question is really simple. I used to be a part in the, uh, I was a, um, in the nation of Israel for a period of time. And um, I have a menorah in my home still. And I wanted to know, is that an omen or should I? Is it okay to keep the menorah um, significance in it? Should I keep it's, it or not? It's a candlestick. Yeah. Do with it what you want. Okay. Because you got. If you don't feel like you want it, then then get rid of it. If you want to keep it and you think it's worth keeping, keep it. It's still, and you don't need nobody. You know, that's part of you being you. That's it. That's all I got. Mm. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thank, right. thank you, Queen. All right. Hey, man, what a night you're on, Rod. Man, this has been a roller coaster, uh, Brother Rich. Man, they had some good questions, though. They had some yeah, really good questions. Yeah, I enjoyed I, it. I love hearing everybody's unique experience, man. We each have such unique experiences, and their questions come from their experience that only they have. So it's it's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, even the, the brother from Saudi Arabia. Uh, sister from Chicago. I mean, wow, just uh, beautiful experiences. Uh, Rod, before we get out of here, anything you want to leave the people with or tell them before we get out of here, my brother? Um, No, we pretty much covered everything today. We're going to do this again, though, Brother Rich. I had a blast. Indeed, indeed. You want to come back uh, next week and do it? Why not? All right. We're we going to be back. No interruptions next time, but we made it through it. We still got 3,500 people here supporting, watching the broadcast. So amazing night, Rod Hayes. Thank you once again, my brother. This is Brother Rich Rod Hayes signing off, family. See you next time. Peace. Peace, fam. Skype ain't been the building. We told them when they when we knock, they better bump straight. So, uh, Rod, you want where you want to start at, man? Because I got all, even the pictures you just sent me. I got them in the folder now. I just slid yeah. right to the other laptop. This, this, this is what we we okay. gonna dive into them. Okay. But since it's word to the mother, for those who don't know, this is a hip hop edition, New York. Shout out to the Boogie Down Bronx, to the Staten Island crew, the Long Island Wu Tang. Shout out to the diplomats. I'm saying all the way up to Yonkers. So we 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 bring in hip hop into a, a position to reclaim our culture. They hijacked our music. Right. We ain't know what was going on, but our brothers told us. Remember from um uh my man from the um uh, po uh young bone thugs and harmony. He gave he gave you the breakdown. Now look, busy is is the red man. Okay. He the okay. chief. He coming out of Ohio, mm -hmm. right? They coming out. Uh, was the Ohio? All right. Now they talking to other chiefs in their music. They talking about crossroads with the crossroads. Mm -hmm. Meet me at the crossroads. Mm -hmm. and then, and then, and then. Yep. Right. Yep. So the uh, but where that what happened to Easy? Easy E is eighty eight. Right. The easy E is also E flip M, E flip M. That's 13, 13. That's two queen mother seals. Okay. So he's been protected from birth. But if you go back and look, oh. you can pull the picture up when Tukey sent the two skyscrapers to hover above him okay, and keep him it. in the middle on the straight bump. Right? Yeah. So that blue house knock. <clears throat> All the stuff that we see going on, uh, our 
entertainers, they don't have to do nothing about it. They just got to tell somebody who can. Yeah, exactly. A lot of these entertainers dirty than the mother. But some of them is in there for us to get cold. Now, you got to go back to this movie from the 50s called uh, The Maltese Falcon. And it was another one to catch a mockingbird. This is CIA infiltrating Hollywood. Right. So they know the CIA infiltrated Hollywood by the 50s because they put it in the public domain in, in movies. And they told us what was going on in uh, some of the early uh, series. Right. So when we look back on old Western movies, they telling us bits and pieces of the truth mixed in with entertainment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So we get to Sam Cook. Sam Cook get murdered for his masters. Here we is. They trying to kill Tupac and Biggie for their masters. Uh -huh. And Michael Jackson. Right. But it's also wordplay. Who the fuck is their master? Right. Go ahead. Right. So when you find out who their master was, right, then you find out these business execs, your uh, liar Cohanes, mm -hmm. and your uh, what's the one from City Houston? Uh, uh, Clive uh, Davis. Yeah. Yeah, Clive Davis. And then you got the ones out there. They work for somebody. Yep, L.A. Reid. Don't none, of them, don't none of them got CEO in front of their name. They work for somebody. That's right. So, if they killing for the masters, who masters is they killing for? <clears throat> right? So, this takes us back to um, my sister, Chief Warhorse, send me a knock about the Atlanta situation because she won't, I need to make it clear to the public, our people that's over here on this land, what we looking at when we seeing five dollar Indians doing our work for us. Yeah. We don't know we don't know what they doing. Right? So I gotta answer the chief because the chief asked the question, who these people think they is thinking they gonna claim our shit. But if you listen a little closer to what's being said, I want to go over that video, Elder. Do you think you can load it up on here? Uh, it ain't going to play. Uh, let's, hold on. Yeah, I know what. I might have it downloaded already in this file. Hold up. Let me. I might can play it like this. All right, hold up. I got you, Rod. Right. I know that if I, I, I already got it downloaded. It's going to be in this file right here at the bottom somewhere. So in law, you have to say state who, by whose authority or jurisdiction you are issuing an order. That's always at the heading. That's but we don't do paperwork. We do oral tradition. So we got to verbally put you on notice. Remember, Sipico put the Pope on notice uh -huh. publicly and told him to change the point across the land. Now watch yourself accordingly. Uh -huh. Now we're about to grab by the crackhead neck, take him back to Egypt where they learn respect. This is the terror dome they fear. This dome right here. Right? Uh -huh. This is the terror dome. Right, because all I'm doing is strategizing heavy strategy that they laid down. I'm reverse engineering it to give us a way out. Mm -hmm. Right, so <clears throat> when when they put them on notice, the very first thing that they said, they told them who sent them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were said they were sent by the spiritual leadership of the clan, the uh, Muskogee. Uh, Muskogee Creek Clan. Mm -hmm. Right? So they told you out the gate who sent them. The elders know who the real uh, elders are, the spiritual leadership, because they following the instructions that's coming from the spiritual leadership. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They okay, now. Right. Now, the first thing they tell the mayor when they evict them, and then we're going to go into why is Atlanta so important? And um, we're going we gonna to touch on that, right? Was you able to load the video? I got my head right here. I have to make sure. Yeah, this is right here. Okay, Rod. Now, so we're going okay, we to have you. I'm, I'm going to have you pause it a couple times while I, if I need to explain okay. something. Okay, the first you. thing I, I want you to, when you hear say they who they were sent by the spiritual leadership this is called the enacting clause okay all right so soon as you hear that pause it and tell the people what you just heard okay now it's gonna it's gonna uh play the sound on this one it's gonna play the sound so they're mm -hmm. gonna be able to hear it. Uh, 
Right, but that's because I already explained it. And then I'm going to have you tell them what it was they just heard. Okay. Hold up. Dang it. Hold up. Damn. Buffering. It's coming. It'll come in. It was just buffering. No, that, that ain't the right one. Hold up. I got. I'm just going to slide it to. Uh, oh. It's already on my background feed. I just got to slide. If I knew, I would have had that in that folder. All right, so let me see. Can I it, it roll it now? Ah, oh, yeah. Y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's go to the desktop. I got it slid right here, so I know.